Welcome back everyone for the next part of Adrian Odyssey 5. In the last part we were kind of forced to kill three different types of employees in order to complete a few quests. So uh, in today's part we're just going to finish off the fifth floor, see how far we go. I don't really know how big this area is going to be since the last floor was so small. But normally, normally in Adrian Odyssey, the fifth floor should be the biggest of them all, right? It should be the biggest of them all. So first of all, I see a pillar to the left of us, wall to the right of us, and a shortcut. So let's first mark down the shortcut. I'm not able to go through, right? Of course not. Then let's check out this half. I see water in some kind of grey pillar. I think two water tiles. Then a pillar thingy and what's this? More statue things from the looks of it. And uh, yeah, I guess it looks like this. Let's keep the water color for now. More water. Then it's cut off. And we have more water connected to like this. And water to the left of us. So you can already see that there's another probably mining? Shopping. Okay, never mind. Another shopping point with a shortcut. It's a freaking bunny <laughs> and a boar. That's the freaking man eating Harry. Janetta was talking about that thing. I don't really know which one of them is the bigger threat, so I'm just gonna use Stippling Miasma. Uh, let's use a white swing since know. I already have it. Trash about, lightning, trash about. How's this? Brace yourself. Take that. This is it. As expected. Never mind. Not so strong if you spam them with all kinds of line attacks, right? So I cannot proceed. Okay. There's another shortcut here, though. Uh. Two tiles water, there's an opening right over there. Then it's cut off like this. Seems like it looks kind of like that. And of course water was in the way. And there was a pillar to our right. Okay. So, then we have there. a statue right in front of us. Can't really tell where it is looking, but okay. I marked that correctly, that's good. So, uh, did that open up a path? I don't even see which uh, way was blocked. Guess that's uh, something for the future. Then there's another wall, some kind of a E. Water, green, water. Ah, another one of those guys. Okay, I don't, I don't really mind them anymore. Huh? Something's another there. Another statue thingy in a corner. Nothing is hidden. Good. So, that is blocked off by a pillar now. And I should be fine to proceed downwards from here. That's probably cut off as well. So, man eating horror, what can you do? Bite off, steal, duck tooth. You love paralysis though. And weak to. Oh, you poor thing. You poor, poor thing. You, you do know what I have, right? I also have lightning. And I should probably Let's start heating up Leave my it to me. MP a bit. There, shoot it down. Alright! Take that! 
Oh, you're strong. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. There's no need for any of that, okay? Absolutely no need for any of that. Thanks a bunch. Also, I might want to upgrade my healing skill very soon. I mean, it's still effective as it is, but... Slowly, it's falling behind. So, cut off like that. Uh, this is grey. Then there's a wall to the left of us, or right at the right of us. It's always a bit weird about the perspective. Oh god, there are more of them. Okay, first two tiles water. One tile water. Going around. Looks kind of like that then. So turn left on that side. Goes up from there probably. Right from over there. Seems like it's in water right now. Still in water. Goes down from here. Okay. Water already starts from there. So this is still safe. Okay. I don't think I'm able to just pass freely from here. So I guess I'm kind of forced to go through the sideline. Like this I presume which means I need to get rid of this pillar or else I won't be able to pass those two FOEs unless of course huh. I would be too kind to just fight those things right but I wouldn't do that <laughs> I mean they are super tanky after one fight I always need to recover myself so, uh, no thanks if I have a choice. So, this is pretty much safe. They're going to go over to my side. More blue, more gray. Then we have another blue one over there. Going to the right. And huh. just for coverage. Wait, there's something. As you slowly stroll through the warm sunshine, you catch sight of an explorer walking towards you with a smile. Why are you so close to an FOE? <laughs> and your path cross along the trail. They ask if, uh, if you're an adventurer as well. Conrad, seriously, I already met you three times. Rid of a barrier. After introducing yourself, you are intru <laughs> introduced to Conrad, who is from the Free Blade. Conrad, three times! We have met three times! Once the introductions are out of the way, Conrad's success making a trade. Apparently, their guild was getting ingredients in the woods, but realized they got too many of the same kinds. If you want to help them out and get some new materials of your own, you could trade. Well, I do have apples. When three blood sees the apple, they take out a hunk of meat. Would you like to trade one apple for three pieces of yes? Eggs? What do we get for eggs? Oh heck yeah! Look how many eggs I have. <laughs> of course I'm gonna take those. Can I trade more eggs? But then again I'm already full. Uh, what about Forest Sunny? I don't have Forest. Ah, never mind. I'm done. The trade is complete. Conrad looks happy to the diverse the supplies. You and Conrad thank each other before returning to your own adventure. Well, oh no, what did I do? <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Okay, well. Well, thank you very much, Conrad. I really needed that. Oh no. Uh, what can you do? Throw, rebind, fire, slash, paralysis. Huh? Optic trust, stifling my asthma. I'm gonna 
use this and amplify and hunting shot. Please get the arms. Get the freaking arms. Nia, come on. You've been doing this for a while now. You can just keep doing it. I seriously need that. Yeah, slash away. Attack. Get the fireball going and attack again. Charge! Now that he's in the front line, he should be able to finish him off much, much quicker than before. But it also means he's able to find me and attack me for much more damage. I still got this optional though. So let's see. Uh, already gray. Caterpillar's a little bit in my way over there. I think. Yeah, I don't think I would be able to pass through here like this. But there is a statue thing. Over there. Ah, I guess I know what I'm supposed to do. Trap it in, huh? Trap it in and close off my back offline. Great. At least I get a shortcut from this. Are you serious? I don't want to fight that thing. You know that I don't want to fight that thing. Amplify again. And let's go for the arms Prepare again. Come face. on, at least, at least get it once. On. Yes. Take this. Heck yes. Yeah. Then I can just safely fire flame. Shoot. Fireball. Shoot. Right? This is it. There we go. Safe and sound, get both items, don't need to it's worry about there. a thing. As you wander through the labyrinth, you discover some golden fruit. Those are apples. Don't really need apples though. Ah, no thanks. I already have full inventory, I should probably start eating my stuff, but then again... I don't really need that many HP items. Huh. At all. Something's no. there. I don't need them at all. If I need them, it's mostly during the battle itself, and then I can't really use them, so uh I mean, sure. Once uh once I get in real trouble and I really need to heal up my whole party, then they become useful again. But right now it's still manageable. So uh I'm just gonna save them. Let's see, two tiles. And we have a corner. More water. Is that an opening? Maybe something huh? hidden? As you stroll through the forest, you stop at a dead end. Beyond here is impassable thick brush. Whatever is inside is hiding in a shadow. Having no choice but to turn back, you notice a large tree that would make a nice spot to stop and rest. You could take a break here for a while, or leave and continue your exploration. First I want to look around. You cautiously look around, though you don't see anything. The cries of beasts can be heard coming from somewhere not far from here. This place isn't as safe as it first appeared. Better not let your guard down. Okay, but it's not gone. So I guess I'm just gonna say there are monsters here for now. And keep it in mind. Maybe I should call it red so that I know that I'm supposed to get back here. And then there's a door. Um, sorry about that strange cut, but uh, my doorbell. My freaking, freaking doorbell. Anyways, uh, where was I? There was a monster in the corner, right? So I was supposed to go through the door and get away from that. First of all, another pillar thingy. And another pillar thingy right over uh, this side. This looks kind of like that. Statue is in the corner. Uh, two tiles going to the right. And there's an opening for some water tiles. Not really sure why they did that, but I guess it gives the whole area a little bit more room, right? 
So let's see, there's an opening, but I don't see anything special over there. Then two more water tiles. And another water tile right over there. Doesn't really appear like you can do anything special in this room though. So let's it's just activate the statue. I was scared for a second. I was like, what? What? Why are you behind the freaking pillow? Why are you behind the pillow? Do I really need to dance around the pillow with you? Oh no. Uh, escape. Preemptive attack means an easy time to escape. Yeah. I still remember that fact. So let's see. Can I get rid of that thing? Three tiles. One tile. Is that safe? Can I escape from there? Doesn't appear like. Yes, it is. There's a door. Okay. So, first of all, I need to go through this door. There. Then I can uh, reach a shortcut since we're getting close to the shortcut over there. Let us begin. After all, <laughs> the shortcuts are going to help us out quite a lot. Seriously, if I need to heal very soon, this is going to be a bit annoying Phew. if I don't have that. Water tiles all around, wall as well. Cutting in like this. Which means there are two water tiles, three water tiles, chests right across. Doesn't really circle around though. More water. Another water patch. Anything in the corner? Nothing in the corner. Then we have another door. That's good. Corner points, more water, and is it another statue piece? I know, which is back where we started off. Uh, optic trust on that thing. Stiffly my as well for both of them. Trash in the boat for the rabbit. Do you like ice? Everything's fine. Hey! Then two trashings about and a lightning for you. I'll stop you! Focusing all my Still alive. I don't no much. So. Not quick enough. Time to end See, this. that's what I mean. <laughs> if there's never E around, you have an encounter. If it's one step behind you, this might end up very deadly. <laughs> Luckily enough, we had a preemptive uh, attack, so uh, I was able to escape in time. But I don't really rely on that that much. <laughs> so if I can avoid it, I would do it. So as you ran through the forest, you hear the heavy breathing of a beast up ahead and stop. Quiet down, you scoop out the area. It's a gathering of fierce-looking monsters. The group discuss what to do and hatch two possible plans. Sneak away before the beast notices you, or ambush the monster when you have the element of surprise. The party looks at you and agrees to follow whichever option you choose to pursue. If I sneak away, there's a chance they might catch us. If I ambush them, I have a pretty good chance to defeat them. Trying to sneak away and failing would surely be more dangerous than launching a surprise attack where you still have the upper hand. But the monster instantly recognized the sound of approaching footsteps and turned around. You failed to land a preemptive strike. Shoot. But at least I'm not in a disadvantage. It's time for the go good old fashioned rumble. Well, so much for my plan, huh? That's just some dogs though. Should be fine. Stifling my yes, ma maybe. Actually, first mana Let's give here. it a whirl. I'll press the I'll advantage. I'll you this. Stifling my yes, ma. Then we're going to use uh, arrow shot on the rabbits. Ice for everyone. And you can trash a bolt. Go now. Should still be effective. I'll stop you. The trashing skill is super strong. Later. Not as strong as Loki's version, but still. I don't like to see that though. 
Okay, slash away, slash this guy, hawk arrow, ice lens on this guy, shoot. Ready? Should be able to defeat me like this. Can it be like this Good. all the time? Anything else? Now that the battle is over, you resume your wandering. Well, this was only one battle. You battled a horde of beasts in one. Hiding and running away can't compare to a good old-fashioned rumble. Right. That's true. But then again, an ambush or a plan to strike would have been nice. That is my hand at least. So let's see, am I able to get the shortcuts? I should be able to get the shortcuts. Oh yeah. It's good. And I... Oh, I missed my chance to get the treasure chest. There's a way right over here. And I missed it. Which means I need to backtrack. Don't really feel like backtracking since the FOE is around. So, uh, I'm just going to know that as it is and do it later. When I have to backtrack either way. Anything else hidden around here? Since I am still around. Doesn't seem like it is the case. It was probably cut off like that. Ah, that thing again. Optic trust, stifling my asthma, shoot it down, fireball, and get the hands. Focusing all my strength. I can get it. I don't think so. Saw that one coming. At least the accuracy of that one attack isn't so strong. <laughs> uh, uh, mana I'll heal. I'll press the I'll advantage. I'll this. Shoot it down. Fire ball, shoot it down. Brace yourself. One, two, as expected. Gone. Perfect. So I see a pillar right over there. Let's mark it down right away. Can I do something from here? So the fall continues on like this. But closes off like that. Probably looks something like this since I need a way to get around the FOE. It wouldn't trap me in like this. So let me see. Blue, green, grey. For this side at least. And with another pillar. Another pillar and the wall right beside us. Oh wait, not over there, but right beside us. What's that? Then we have a statue kind of thing. Pillow. There's another pillow right over there. Water to our side, crossing in. Looks like two tiles going upwards. What's that? And a check. Wait a second, need to draw in my surroundings first. You never know, maybe I'd die from this. We're walking through the woods, you stop at a large, mossy boulder. It seems this boulder is no ordinary one. Reach that it takes mana around it. You do? Uh, sure, shake it out. You brush away the moss and uncover an ancient room, craved into the boulder. It appears to be a long-forgotten monument. The monument is covered in ancient ruins. Richter's knowledge of spellcraft should be able or should allow them to decipher the text. Richter studies the boulder and writes down the, the translation. To future explorers, treasure awaits at the waterfront by the downstairs stairs. Good luck, new adventurers. Uh... Waterfront. So somewhere around there. Right? Waterfront. Downstairs stairs. Based on the text, you can conclude that the adventurer from the past left behind some sort of treasure. With the inkling as to the location allowed to be by the cryptic hint, you now must choose whether to seek out the prize or continue your exploration. I'm going to seek that out later, <laughs> but not now, not now. 
After detecting mana, you read a helpful message on a boulder from the past adventurers. Follow it to find the buried treasure. Somewhere where the water is. It has to be somewhere where the water is. I'm gonna write it down. Hidden notes. E. Anything else I can see? There is another door. Somewhere around here, I would say. Three tiles, four tiles, yeah. Circling around in a tree by tree room fashion. And completely cutting it off like that. Okay. So basically, from here, I'm forced to activate the statue. Oh my god, I hate those things. Come on, what the hell? Here, I have this. Uh, trash about the center. Lightning away, trash about the center again. Go! My TP! My poor TP! My poor, poor TP! This is ridiculous. This is way too ridiculous. At least I have a shortcut, but still. Huh? Don't really like the look of it. Let me see. Huh? A statue, which I probably need to activate. This is cut off like that. Then I need huh. to activate the Something's door. there. Go left, up, and through the corridor. Phew, that look doesn't look so bad. This is cut off like that, this is cut off like that. There's a line over here. Corner's huh. closed. Door to our right and connected. But say we are about 50% by now from the, from the map layout and I'm super far away from our actual quest. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Okay, first of all, pillars. Second of all, walls. Next up, water tiles. And of course, statue things. So let me see. I have two water tiles over here. Another pillar spot right over there. More water tiles. Like this. Water tile up front, pillar tiles right behind each other, treasure chest right across the water tile, huh? more statues, uh huh, okay, another statue thingy right over there, combined with two water tiles, cutting off the treasure for my peripheral. <laughs> uh, let me see, there was an opening right over. Over there. Looks probably something like this. Cut in, cut off. There we go. So, if I activate this, then this is going to probably be closed, which means I won't be able to get the treasure. Something is blocking this one off. Maybe I should activate huh. this guy. Something's there. It's not going to get in my way if it's over there. Since that's the only way to get huh? to the treasure. Then I'm going to move you out of the way. Add a few more water tiles since they are on the way. There's another statue right over there. So I guess once I have this guy, I'm able to get the treasure. From the looks of it at least. So, then we have more water tiles, two tiles this time around, more grey. Uh, three tiles, three tiles, another pillar right about there. Water tile right across. So basically, from the looks of it, there are three possible pillars who can get in my way for one treasure. God, why would I do something like this? Let's see, it has to look something like that. Maybe not this wall, but like 
that. Then we have the two water tiles over here. Another pillar waiting for us right over there. Wall to the south of us. Huh? Another figure thingy. More water. And another piece of water. And I have to move the other guy in order to get through here in order to reach this door. Okay. Well then, let us quickly grab the treasure, I guess. This will pretty much map out the whole room by now. Uh, looks like this. No wall here. What's that? You need to move. Then we pass through here. There's another pillar waiting for us. Is something there? Activate this guy. Then it's closed off like that. This is closed off. More water tiles, hopefully only one wa- oh shoot! This looks bad! Uh, wait! Wait a second! Optic Trust. Stifling my asthma. Trash bout! Fireball! Trash bout! I still have too much trash in the bout! I can totally do this! He's not going to attack me first! Uh, <laughs> Okay, never mind! Things look grim. Um, I don't have a union skill ready, right? Let's see. I do have a union skill Let's ready! Get Let's get out of here then! <laughs> Screw this guy! Go now? So, uh, yeah! <laughs> Uh, give me a second, I'm gonna recover my MP and then we try that riddle again, shall we? So, uh, where was I? <gasps> Alright, activating the statue, turning around, circling around this statue thingy, huh. activate Something's this there. statue in order to clear out the way for, this, for the treasure. Then we're going to move this little statue in order to actually move everything out of the way and then we're gonna grab our reward, shall we? Was it worth it? Eight hundred then? What's that? Eh, I guess kind of worth it. After all, in this game, it's a little bit tougher huh. in order to get to money. You know, even with a farmer party, it's still a bit tricky to get the actual items. Like, really tricky. Oh yeah. That's still doable. So first of all, now I shall take the Leave it this to me. area, we are actually up. going to keep at least one Union charge up in order to uh, escape worst case scenarios, okay? Then we're going to trash a boat, lightning away, trash a boat, I would say. Yeah, I'm not gonna Charge! play around with those guys. This is it! Take that! You've left yourself open! Can there it we be go. like this all the time? So let's see, what can I do from over here? There is an opening to the south and a way to the left side. Let me see. First of all, water tiles. What's that? And something is right in front of us. He's in dead, just great. Wait, there might not be a wall over there. So what's this? As you walk through the forest, you notice bedded equipment is guarded near the water. You see a griffin and Wait, what? The griffin emblem helm. Caked with blood and dirt beside it, a sword stands stabbing into the ground like a grave marker. You recall the request from the Monaco man. The one about finding his missing daughter. It seems the helmet's owner lost her life here. You offer up a short prayer in her reach to take the helmet when something suddenly attacks you from behind. Let's get you some help. You have done something you shouldn't have. You know that, right? You have done something you really shouldn't have. Go! How's this? Prepare to 
face me. One hit kill. Oh, she survived so that. To end this. Okay, in that case, I'm fast on my feet. I'm just gonna revive him really quickly. Uh, hit him normally. Hit him normally. I should yeah. still be. I'm Everyone not faster. Did incredibly well. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot. Right, Nia has some agility weapons. With the monster gone, you take the helmet and report back to the tavern to turn it in. Sure. But first of all, I really need to get him back. And I guess this is a good situation in order to eat some fish. I guess. Let me see. Grilled fish. There. And then here. And... I wish that also gets one, and I still have one more. Danny. There. Anything else? Doesn't really look like it. Helmets. Good. Okay, so from here, I guess I could still... Well, my time is slowly running out, but I might be able... Oh, a <laughs> fishing spot. Great, I just ate like three fishes. Let me get a new one. Yeah, I should still be able to reach uh, that one spot over there with the insect nest, I think. Was it? Was it insect nest? I'm not really sure. It was something I'm supposed to destroy, that's for sure. So, two tiles, another tile over there. What is connected? Wall kind of off. Opening to the right. Ah, there are more of them. Okay. Water. Statue. Statue. More water. I can't quite reach those little guys. Another wall piece. And a mining spot. Finally. Let us begin. Mining spots are super rare. Unless you are on the first floor. So, this looks kind of like... That. Then we have the pillar. I think I already marked this pillar. Yep, marked it. And I'm gonna keep this little guy. Screw that! <laughs> I'm not that stupid to get rid of my defense line. Trash bout, lightning the back. Trash bout again. Go! How's this? Still alive. One hit kill. Oh my god. Just kidding. Okay, they should be able to survive this. They shouldn't. There's no way. And you really need to heal them up. How's that? Take this. Good. See. There's another witch. There's another wall. Going inside. Two water tiles. Another wall. What's this? There's a statue right over there. And a shortcut. Why would there be a shortcut? Hmm. Oh well. This is also cut off by another water tile. Going all the way across and more water okay so basically i need to activate this statue in order to reach the treasure huh okay i'm totally going to do this uh water all the way across and we have some walls Go all the way through in over there and it's here it is. Following the direction of the tavern, you find your target hiding behind some brushes. It's a simple den, just a just a crude framework of woods with leaves to block out the elements. There's no mistaking it. This is the nest you've been hired to destroy. Once you're ready to demolish the den, start following Miriam's instruction. Take out the meat. You take out the meat you got from the tavern to use as a bait. If you place it in the correct location, the monster soon 
should be so distracted by the bait that you can move closer. Uh, I'm supposed to place it on the ground. Recall in Miriam instruction perfectly, you place the meat on the ground near the dense entrance. Then run and hide. After a few moments, a monster comes roaming out of the nest, sniffing. When the monster sees the meat, they joyfully pounce onto the meat and begin showing down. You take the opportunity to reach the den. You glance inside just in case, but see no monster inside of the nest. Time for phase 2. You remember Miriam's explanation. You will need to scorch the pillar. The question is, however, is to where to begin. The middle, of course. Recalling that you need to scorch the middle of the pillar, you start a fire to do just that. Lo and behold, a dry sound echoes from within the pillar. Soon enough, the pillar begins to crack a little bit. If you believe now is the right time to act, then the next step is to set up the explosive around the pillar. Sure. Deciding that, now or <laughs> that it is now or never, you warp the explosion around the pillar to light up the fuse. You immediately distance yourself from the pillar to avoid the blast radius. A moment later, a loud explosion shakes uh, uh, through the entire den. When the smoke clears up, however, it's still intact. What? No! Kept it close! No! The sharpness of the clairs are crazy. They were hungry and hurt the desert. <laughs> no, what did I do wrong? Maybe I should have waited a little bit. <laughs> um, they leave you no choice but to give up and destroy the den as the beast slows in. You draw your weapon to meet the challenge. Oh. It's just rabbits. Don't scare me like that if it's just rabbits. Come on. Stiffing my asthma. Trashing about. Lightning the center. Trashing about. Hold on! You've left yourself open! Oh shoot, that's one. <laughs> oh my Danny. Okay. Okay, I kind of deserved this, I guess. I should have wait I didn't have a road about waiting. See, there's nothing about waiting over there. <laughs> oh well. Although you succeed in eliminating the monster to detect you, you're not in the clear. More on the way. New wave of monsters, there's no escape from them. Gritting your teeth, you're re Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. This might be bad, actually. What did I do? What did I do? Well, can't really escape from this, right? Defend. Trashing about. Lightning. And Let's do this. Double Let's attack. Do this. I'll press the advantage. All right. Can I pull this off? Not quick enough. Later. I die from this. Oh God, defend! For love of God, defend! Please. Hold on. Please hold on, Ray. You can totally Just take this through. I believe. You can take this through. Here. Here, I, I, I have a white swing. Let's shoot down the guys uh, in the in the back. Lightning and... Can't heal her. I should, I should have used ice skill. <laughs> I should have used sky skill. Our final okay, that's it. Now you've done it. Uh, optic trust. Mana I'll heal. Shoot him down, please. Fireball and shoot. Brace yourself. Prepare to face me. That went well. Is that enough? Please tell me it was enough. After defeating the second wave of monster, you sign and relief. Still, you cautiously look around to make sure there aren't any more. Once you're convinced there won't be any backup coming, you shed your weapon. Things didn't go as planned, but at least it's safe for the carpenter to work again. Which means you completed his request. Report back at the tavern when you have the time. Ha! Huh. We have time, huh? Sure. 
Sure, totally. Totally. <laughs> I thought I would die. <laughs> I really thought I would die from this. Oh, my stupidity sometimes. My absolute stupidity. Uh, I still might be able to reach the shortcuts, right? Give me the shortcuts. Okay, I got the shortcut. We really need to get out of here. Oh god, no. No thanks. I'm gonna grab the trash tomorrow, maybe. Welcome. First, I need to heal up. Oh, those stupid bunnies. Those stupid, stupid little bunnies. They're everywhere. They're so strong that I can almost kill my back. Have a nice <laughs> day. Okay, um, since I'm already Welcome. here and I still have a little bit of time. Wait, actually, I don't have the time. Never mind. We're gonna save that for the next part. I hope you guys had fun and see you in the next part when we turn in the request and never go anywhere near the den ever again. Right? Right. And then, bye bye!